Hi all, in this video I'll explain the encoding function of the code. For encoding, we need the audio samples which are in CH1 and CH2 and the secret text to be encoded. I had shown you the audio samples in the previous video. It has two channels, so you can use the LSBs of both the channel to hide your text. Here, suppose I have taken CH1 as the binary sample highlighted in pink and CH2 as the binary sample highlighted in blue and the secret text as the binary sample highlighted in grey. Now this is just for explanation purpose. The actual samples will be taken from the input audio and the secret text will be taken from the input.txt file. So the first step here is channel 1 is equal to bit and of channel 1 with 240 and channel 2 is equal to bit and of channel 2 with 240. So basically what we are doing is we are taking channel 1 ending it with 240. So if you observe the answer you can find that the lower 4 bits become 0 here for channel 1 and for channel 2 also the lower 4 bits become 0. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the first 4 bits of text and hide it that is replace the lower 4 bits of channel 1 with the first 4 bits of text. Similarly for channel 2 we will replace the lower 4 bits of channel 2 with the lower 4 bits of our text. Now let us see how can we do that. For that the next step says that we have to perform bit ending of text with 128. Now perform the bit ending of text and 128. The answer if it is equal to 128 we will be performing a bit ordering process. But the answer was not equal to 128 so we won't be performing bit ordering. Next step is again bit ending text with 64. So again we are taking the text uh, ending it with 64. The answer was also equal to 64. So we have to perform bit or. So bit ordering has to be done with CH1 that is channel 1 and 4. So we are taking channel 1. So we will be using the new channel 1 that is the channel 1 which has all zeros in its lower 4 bit. So the channel 1 with 4. Now the answer that is the answer you get after ORing will be stored in CH1. Because the line says CH1 is equal to bit ORing of CH1 comma 4. So our new CH1 is this. Uh, I have highlighted it in green. So next is again text ending with 32. So when you end it with 32, again it is not equal to 32. So let us skip the ORing process and go to the next if condition. Uh, again text with 16. Again the answer is not equal to 16. So the next step. After completing the upper 4 bit, now it's time to take the lower 4 bits. So here we will be using for channel 2. So after 16, we will be taking text with 8. Okay. So here we have taken our input text and we are ending it with 8. Again the answer is not equal to 8. Next step, text ending with 4. Again after ending you get all zeros and the, it is not equal to 4. After that again ending it with 2. The answer is not equal to 2. Finally ending it with 1. Now you can find the answer is also equal to 1. So we will have to perform the bit ORing function. For this part we will be using channel 2. So let us take channel 2 that is the new channel 2 bit ORing it with 1. So finally our new channel 2 becomes this. Now if you notice channel 2 and channel 1, the lower 4 bits contain our secret text. The lower 4 bit of channel 2 contains 0001 and if you notice above our new channel 1 contains lower 4 bit as 0100 which was ultimately our secret text. So this is the way we will be encoding the data. See this is our secret text and finally in the lower 4 bits see you can notice this here. We have encoded this 4 bits and in channel 2 we have encoded these 4 bits. This is the way the encoding will take place. This is just an example. You can do it for the entire samples. Thank you.